chapter 6 of class 11 psychology deals with learning. The process of learning, it is a continuous. It starts from the time of birth of an individual and it continues till the death. We all are engaged in the learning process. Everything we do, it is a result of learning. For example, walking, tying our shoes, talking, etc. Learning is any change that an organism produces in its behavior. Before going to the details, please remember to subscribe this channel. Thank you. What is learning? The definitions are, first one, it is a process of modifying one's behavior or skills as a result of experience. Another one is, any relatively permanent change in behavior that occurs as a result of practice and experience. There are various definitions of learning, but every definition stresses on three important elements of learning. First one is, learning involves a behavioral change, that is, a change in behavior. The change can be good or bad, better or worse, but there will be a change in behavior due to the learning process. And this behavioral change, it should take place as a result of practice and experience. That is, through experience, the changes takes place. So, the changes in behavior will happen. And these changes are a result of experience. The changes resulting from maturity or growth is not considered as learning. And the behavioral change must be relatively permanent. Or it lasts for a relatively long time. So, the learning process there will be a change in behavior and it is due to the result of experience and the changes will be relatively permanent or it will be for a long term. Learning is an active process. Even if you learn something very quickly, it still have a multi-step process. To learn, first you must encounter with new information. Then you need to pay attention to it. Then you coordinate it with what you already known and it is stored in your memory and you apply it. So learning is an active process. For example, you wish to make a gift box. You might search for how to do video. You watch it and see if it addresses your need. You then use the instructions in the video to make the gift box. Here you are learning something. Another example is consider you are reading a book and you came across an unfamiliar word. You stopped there to look up the meaning. Then you learned a new word. So Learning is a process. And what is not a learning? Consider the example like very temporary changes. That is remembering a telephone number just for the purpose of dialing it. It is not a learning process. Then changes that result from physiological maturation, brain injury, mental illness, dementia or use of any mind altering substances like alcohol or amphetamines. So all these things which induce a change in behavior and the temporary changes that is not considered as learning. Learning does not necessarily involve a permanent change. However, learned information and the skills it can be lost or it can be forgotten if they are used infrequently or if they are 
not used at all. So, learning is an active process and it is not necessarily a permanent change and the learned information can be forgotten. There are different types of learning theories in psychology. These theories have emerged to explain how people learn. There are five main or major learning theories. They are behavioral learning theory, cognitive learning theory, constructivist learning theory, social learning theory and experiential learning theory. These theories all differ but they share similar characteristics. One of the main characteristics is that the way people learn, it is influenced by their environment. Such theories have played important role in influencing the education, in therapies and in parenting approaches. Now let's have a quick recap on what we have learned. We have learned the definitions of learning. All the definitions focus on three main things. That is, the learning includes a behavioral change and it is the result of experience and the changes can be permanent or it will be for a relatively long period of time. Then we have learned that the learning, it is an active process and five major theories of learning. Learning is not a one-dimensional process. It takes place in many different ways and there are a variety of factors and that influence how and what the people learn. A baby sea turtle, it knows how to find the ocean and how to swim without the help from its parents. But human beings are not born knowing how to swim. But we have the ability to learn. This chapter, that is chapter 6, learning of class 11 psychology, focus on primary ways in which learning occurs. The details will be in the upcoming videos. So, please like, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you and keep smiling.